Okay, so that's foot conditions. Then we're going to go to customer list and browse test. Um, let's, let's do that. Basically, at the end of a test, as we talked about before, we have these different buttons that pop up. We have sandals, we have mosaic, we've covered print. Start means activate the test. Cancel takes you back to, uh, to the beginning. But we haven't talked a lot about save. So save, after every test, this is how you can build the database of consumers in your system. Now, this can be used for email marketing. We covered that earlier. But also, this can be just used for general database purposes. So let's do, um, yeah, let's do a few tests. Tests, and you know what, Dan, you want to be, you want to do the test, and I'll, uh, we'll yeah. switch for a minute. So let's first, we'll save it under Dan's name. And if we put the email address in here, do you know if it's set up? No, uh, no. It's, it's not, not authenticated? OK. So we're just going to save the, uh, uh, the name, and we'll save it as new. OK. Now let's say Dan comes back a month later, and, he's, and he takes another test. And we'll ask Dan if he's been to the store. He's in there already. Hop on. So we do a new test. Well, they've changed dramatically. <laughs> and now what you do after the test is when you hit save, instead of save new or is it save existing? This time it's save existing. So who's in there? Dan's in there already. You click on it and you hit save. So now Dan comes back again. You can hop off, Dan. Thank you. If Dan comes back again to the store, and he, if you want to pull up his database, or let's say it's a, uh, a doctor's office, you would pull up customer list. And there's Dan. And you double click on that. And his two tests would pop up. And then you could pull up one. This was the one that I did before. And then you could pull up the other. And you can actually do. And it saves the information. This will be on there permanently. You can do as many as you can fit in the screen. And you can compare progress to see how that particular person is doing. And hopefully, if, there's, uh, if there was severe metatarsal pressure and callus buildup, you've been able to give them product that really relieved this. And the next time they come in, they have less pressure in that area. Uh, but you have that database. Now, every one of these can be shown small like it is now, or you can double click it and it'll go to full screen. And you can, uh, you can minimize it or click, uh, and you can see view data. There's all different ways to pull this up. Hide data, view data, and again, double click the whole thing and it pops up. And we can even do one more test. So Dan, you want to do one more? Sure. This time, uh, why don't you lean all the way back just to have a difference on here? Let's hit start, just so we can see a, a uh, mm -hmm. distinguishable difference between the different tests that Dan did. OK. Thank you. And we hit save, save existing. Now, if it was new, we would just save in a new name. But save existing, Dan pops up. And it's saved. Click on save, yes. And now once we open up, we have in 6 and 7 are about database management. So if we pull up Dan, we have the three tests. You can even go to Browse Tests or just simply pull them up by clicking on them. And again, they all pop up. So you can see the three different tests and see how we're doing. And you know, database management is great because you can save the information for a particular customer. And I think most importantly, you can use the email marketing feature by simply saving the name in the email. Dan, am I missing anything in the, in the database portion? Anything that should be, uh, I mean, we have the foot size, we have the orthotic recommendation, the arch type, the key statistics. No, no. The only thing, um, as Larry said earlier, just wanted to reiterate, when you, assuming that the email is set up, it's configured, um, when you click on save, what you're, uh, your customer will then get at their email, they'll get a picture of their scan with the recommended orthotic and, and the personalized message that you had 
created. Let's do one more as a different person. So um, just for uh, Dan, you want, would you mind doing one more? Sure. And this time just lean all the way forward. And we'll pretend it's somebody new coming into the store. So uh, you know, we're, we'll create a new customer just to show you what it'll look like with, with multiple customers saved in the database. Okay, this one will be easy to remember. So we hit save, save new instead of save, and whoop, forgot the name. All right, let's make this one Danny Locker. Whoop, and save new. Now we can go in. And when you click on and activate the menu, we have customer lists. And we can pull up Dan or Danny. And once we highlight it, oh, let's go back. We, this is only one test. This was Danny. So this was the last one that was done. And then if it's Dan, if you click on Dan, there's three different tests. And you can browse within the tests, within the different tests here. Dan, on this, um, is there anything? and browse test that needs to, this just comes up within the last customer that popped right, up? Right, right. So it's kind of a shortcut. Right. Okay, so these really work hand in hand, your customer list and browse test. You, you can't uh, use browse tests without having already, uh, having, having a customer up. So, uh, okay, thank you. So, uh, so basically browse list is you already have to have a customer up to hit browse list and it's just a shortcut to make it easier. If you go to customer list, you just simply click on it, and then you can click on the test that you want to see. And you know, we encourage you at the very least to save the name and email address, if, and you can do edits. And, and some customers really use this database feature. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably 20% of the customers, uh, but it's a great option, and it's a, uh, it's a nice op feature to have built into the software. Okay, so.